opinions and stories around the game we love told by your favorite storytellers. Stay up to date with all things cricket. Subscribe to Crick Buzz's YouTube channel and press that bell icon now. This was absolutely ripe for Rishabh to play a captain's knock. You need a runner ball in the back 10. You're 84 for three going into it. You just have to keep your head down, not be flashy. And that's exactly what Joy and I said, is that does Rishabh have it in, me, have it in him to curb that flashy instinct and get his team across? Well, yeah, I mean, I hear that expression all the time, a captain's innings. It's not, it, it shouldn't be a captain's innings, it's just an innings. You know, it's yeah. an innings that the game requires you to play at that that particular moment. Um, he owed his team an innings with the way that he captained. I mean, I'm I'm not going to keep picking on him, but he's a young captain that needs to learn. You know, that they're the kind of the nights that yes, you've won, you celebrate, you talk to your team, great because you've got those two points. But I hope that he's sensible enough to analyse and go into his room and maybe bring Ricky Ponting in and some of the coach and some of the seat and goes right, okay. Just honest feedback. Did I get any? Yeah, you did actually, Rishabh. You did X, Y, and Z. That worked quite right. Um, you know, it's the way that you learn as a captain. It's not. It's not. You know, be aggressive to Rishabh and say you must do this, you must do that. But really good captains, when they're at their their infancy stages, accept that you, you know it's like you're a player. You go and ask for advice. You go and ask for a little bit of feedback of of your your tactical nous throughout that game. And uh, he's not getting the right information if one of them at least doesn't sit with him and say, Rishabh. You got that wrong. And then when you've got the bat in hand, you've got a chance as a captain to see your team over the line. And he didn't manage to do that either. So not a great night for Risha, but he got the two points. Yeah. Not a, I'm sure that Ricky is going to be a little restless as well. He's saying both my protégés were below their tactical best today, right? My former protégé, Shreyas, my, my current yeah. protégé, Rishab. They've yeah. both been below par today. Uh, but that's the thing, right? I mean, Joy also a captain is as good as, uh, you know, his team. The confidence of a captain is as good as the confidence of the entire team. And when these two teams are seven and eight and they're playing each other, Knight Riders with four on the bounce that they've lost coming into this game, you know, a captain's confidence is bound to take a dent as well. Yeah, but look, Delhi is four and four. It's not as if they're at zero and seven or, you know, two and six or zero and eight like Mumbai is. They're four mm. and four. I mean, they're there. They're somewhere there. They've just got a lot of players back. In fact, I believe that today is the day, given the situation that we have now, today is the day where actually Ponting can have a good chat with Rishabh Pant. Because it's much easier for a coach to talk to a player after a win and say, yeah, congratulations guys, we got that across the line, fantastic, super. The player is also in a better position to, you know, after a disheartening loss, there's really not much you can talk about in the dressing room which will make much sense immediately. So, I think today is yeah. a good day to sit Rishabh down and say, you know what? If you went back there, would you have done this this way? And perhaps look back at the kind of stuff they would have done and just, you know, this is a, I mean, this is a young, powerful team. I genuinely believe this Delhi team has a lot of strength. Its bowling attack is a decent bowling attack. Shardul is just a bit, a bit off the boil. But with Kuldeep and Aksar, they have excellent spinners. With Mustafa Zul, they have somebody up front who's really good. If Khalid Ahmed comes back, this is not a bad team. This is still, Delhi is definitely still in the fray. Where mm. Kolkata look, you know, given the number of changes they're making in total disarray at this point in time.